Good morning. We're doing well. Okay. The so Link's Awakening. My next goal is to wake up this guy. And I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure I need a new Ocarina tune to do it. I'm like 80% sure. But I don't remember where to do, where to get that. So I'm gonna be looking around a lot. One thing I remembered yesterday, but I had to end stream. Is that Alryra said that his wife went to Animal Village, and I never checked that out. Maybe she has something. Oops. God damn it. I do that all the time. <laughs> Need to re-equip the feather. I should just always put that on my X button instead of uh instead of Y. Okay, I remember I remember in the Game Boy game getting a getting an Ocarina song from a bunch of frogs. I don't remember where they are. I also need to figure out who to get the, give the broom to. Wait, is that her? Oh! Well. I thought that I checked all of this. Oh, and I know where the fishing hook goes. Okay. I thought I checked all of Animal Village before. Maybe she doesn't get there until later. Maybe that's what Alrighty was talking about. Okay. Let's. Fishing hook goes over here. Go away, go away, go away. No, not over here. Where is that? It's like under a bridge. Yeah. Okay, I think it's over here. Mm, around. Okay. Took the long way. It's kind of weird that like three people from the trade quest are all like really clustered together. No scales before I have my necklace back. I have your necklace. Oh, it's because I dove and talked to her. <laughs> That's funny. Don't get handsy down there, Link. How will I use it? I don't remember where the scale goes. Let's look around the map a little bit. I want to check out this area. 
Let me check out that area. I could just walk over there, but there's a warp point really close. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope, nope, never mind. I was thinking about Manbo. I remembered he was over here. All right. Let's see if Aurora has anything else to say. Maybe we can get a hint. Beautiful mermaid statue south. Oh, oh well. I already. Oh wait. Yeah, why don't we go to the statue? Did he say the same thing? Does he give you the same tip? I, I like wasn't even paying attention that same that second time. Flying rooster. Okay, we got that one. I understand that. Beautiful mermaid statue. Signpost maze. That's the one. That's the one. So where... How have I not seen... The signpost maze. Signpost maze. Like, you can see signs on the map. Seems like the signpost maze would be pretty obvious, huh? Hmm. No, I don't want you to tell. I'll figure it out. Thank you for asking. I do want to check out the mermaid statue. That's in the signpost news. Alright, let's check out the statue first. Ooh, have I gone down here? I don't know that I've gone down here. No, I think I did. I think I did. I don't think I was, I think I went down there a little early. Ooh. Okay. Good morning, Nico. Okay. It's the best way over there. Oh, I hate those things so much. <laughs> I say it every time I see them, but they really are annoying. Is it around here somewhere? Shoot right up onto the shore, huh? Hit me twice. There we go. Really... Pretty stacked on rupees right now. Okay. 
easy. Oh, I knew that guy was under there. Oh, you can kill them with the hookshot. That's nice. I think this is where you put the scale. Yep, there it is. Magnifying glass. So that's the end of the trade quest. Okay, and I know what to do with that. Oh! Just, oh yeah, it reveals these enemies. Okay. This is ringing a bell a bit. I forgot that the magnifying glass were in there. Did I jump in first playthrough on hero mode? I did. Yeah. But I played, um, I played the original a lot as a kid. So, like, I know the game pretty well. I just, I don't remember this part of it. Signpost maze. It must be in a cave. Is your favorite Zelda game? Mine as well. But it's, um, I didn't play a lot of them growing up. I only recently played Ocarina of Time. Which I would, I would definitely put that pretty high up. On all-time favorite games. Hmm. <clears throat> I want to try... Wait, where was that that I was just looking? All right. I might call all Ryra again, see if he has anything new. Did you go to that signpost maze? Yeah, every, everyone's heard of it. randomizer i've tried like watching oot randomizers but having only beaten the game once like i just i don't know the game well enough like I'd be way too scared to try it myself i must have already been here because i would have gotten whatever item was over on the right all right, well, that was a waste of time. Signpost maze. Oh, man. Super cool, good. I should check out, um, I should check out the signs in the overworld because they might lead me in the right direction. Hopefully there's just one that says signpost maze over here. You little turd. I don't have a good way to deal with those enemies. So how do I get up? Oh my god, I have to go like all the way around? Oh, that was a ho Oh, wait. Hey, look at this really big blank spot on the map. <laughs> oh, man. How did I... Oh, I, th I think that's where it is, too. Like, it's it's... Okay. How did I never go there? 
oh, an item tracker, and that's nice. I think I saw that. Here, let me take a look. Oh, yeah, where it shows you, um, where was it? Is this button? Oh, yeah, this these two things? Yeah, I found those completely by accident. Found them completely by accident. Okay. I know where I'm going now. I'm like 90% sure this is right. How did I never go down here? That's annoying. Oh, because you need the hook shot to get there. That makes sense then. Start here, go this way. Then... Go this way. This way. God, this field is deadly. <laughs> riveting. Hey. Okay. I don't know how I just didn't see that blank spot on the map. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everyone knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? 300 rupees. This is like, this is, this, this frog leads like the biggest hipster band ever. First off, the venue, totally underground. I'm really mad at myself for that one. Like follow a bunch of signs to get there. They charge you an arm and a leg. The Great Moblin, yeah. Dude, I love the Oracle games. I would love to see remasters of those on the Switch, but I don't think that's ever going to happen. Yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, thanks for the follow, bud. Okay, now we can go back. Well, we're... I don't need to... Use the ocarina, because we're, like, right here. Uh, that's not where I meant to shoot it. I'm gonna stop by and grab a, uh... Oh, I'm gonna grab a fairy while I'm over here.
All right, then we can actually, hopefully, we can finish seventh dungeon today. I don't remember how. I think the seventh one's pretty tough. I think that's the one where you carry that big stone around and have to break the pillars. That one can get kind of confusing. Maybe that's the eighth. No, I think it's the seventh. We'll see. All right, let's go wake up this rooster. I also don't know where I'm going once I get the rooster, because I've been to the dungeon. I think I still have to go up in that general area. But I need a key. That pose of the rooster, it's pretty great. He's recovered. <laughs> he was just a pile of bones, but don't worry, he got better. What does he look like? He looks so familiar. Hmm, okay. I think we need to... I'm pretty sure we need to go up. Pretty sure we need to go up there. Oh wow, did I not... That looks like a warp point that I didn't activate. That's the 8th dungeon though, I think. I think that's the 8th one. You just realize what he's from? Oh, interesting. There's a lot of, um, there's a lot of references to old, older Zelda games in this one. Oh wait, was this before OOT? Hang on, I need to know this now. Did Link's Awakening come out before OOT? It must have, right? 1993? Yeah, that was probably years before Ocarina of Time. 1998. It came out five years before. Wow. Oh, even DX came out before it. Dang. Alright. Let's take the flying rooster over to that weird rooster lover up here. Yeah, I remember that. I need to play OOT again. OOT is also difficult to say. Uh, I think I went the wrong way. I think jumping down there will take me like all the way to the bottom. I don't want to do that. It might be closer. It might actually be closer to warp over here and climb up the other side. I thought he was an enemy. <laughs> actually, you know what? Hang on. I want to check something out anyway. So let's actually warp back down there. I don't know why that like surprised me in my mind. you take me in here? Okay, so there must be some... I think you use the rooster to get in there. But I don't know how. Thank you. Hmm. Ah, 
thought that would be a nice shortcut. Yeah, what if I do this? Come here, rooster. Okay, so you stay at like the same height off the ground. He's got such a stupid little face. <laughs> like his eyes are just... It's like looking around. He's got like the chameleon eyes going on that are like looking in two different directions. Such a derpy little face. Here we go. Oops. June sixth, nineteen ninety three. You mean ninety six for DX? Wow, amazing. The rooster is actually flying. tried to hold him over your head. Yes, I have. Oh, well, why? You, you were no help. Oh, 98, really? been here already. Oh, only 21 days. And I didn't play it until DX, so I didn't play it until Ocarina of Time had already come out, but I never had an N64. Oh, wait, I've been down there. was a little loud <laughs> angry cucko thank you for the thank you for the host thank you very much hope you had a good stream <laughs> caught me that caught me off guard a little bit <laughs> alerts are a great volume check for my other monitor Okay, I don't see how this is going to help me. I don't remember seeing a path that I specifically needed the rooster for. Oh my god. Shoot. Thank you, Angry Kuka. Oh. oh, that's a warp point. What if I do this? Oh, that doesn't do anything for me. This is where the game gets fuzzy for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a cute emote. Okay, so this is where this is this is the path to the eighth dungeon, I think, because you get the mirror shield in the seventh, right? Hmm. Let's make a phone call, huh? Nintendo. <laughs>
What's up, Desi? Did you beat Kaizo 1 yet? Desi, thank you very much for the raid. Hope your stream was good. Nice hairy ass. You're doing great. Your efforts will end soon, by the way. Have you visited the hen house on the mountain? Yes. Did nothing for me. There's a cave nearby with something. Let's go back. Good to see you, Desi. How was your stream? Um, I'm Hank, for anyone new here. I usually play Kaizo stuff. I'm in the middle of Kaizo 2. I had a rough time streaming it last night. Because I'm, I got, I was on the third level. Does anyone know how annoying it is to be struggling on a level that's like pretty? I don't know why I'm not warping. It's like torturous, and like all of chat knows that you can cheese the whole thing as revenge to no one. I'm going to beat that stupid level without any cheese. So that's going to be fun. Okay. Back, uh, okay. I think this is the faster way. Part two of Ultra Star. Ten minutes to get the midway back. That's really good. <clears throat> Means you're building some consistency. Well, thank you, Angry Kuka. Have a good night. Ultra Star is a Ultra Star is one hell of a level. Best revenge is to no one. What's up, Pat Stoppy? Good morning, light play. Oops. Okay, so we're going back up to the the hen oh my alarm's going off Oop. it was the song from smb311 i don't know if that came through the mic or not Maybe it's one of these caves. I feel like one of these caves. I don't think it's this one. Could be wrong. Let's see where this takes me. Oh, almost missed that. <sighs> A few tiles away from making the second great platform after the midway. Good for you. I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to get in there. Maybe I don't need to get in there. What if you, like, can you chuck a bomb in there? Might be able to from up there. What's hero mode? Hero mode is a difficulty. And it makes you take double damage. And you get no hearts. So the only way to refill your health is to find fairy springs. Honestly, I don't think it adds a whole lot of difficulty to it. Most of the most of the difficulty is toward the beginning. Since you just don't have a lot of heart containers, but you also get these jars throughout the game where you can just hold fairies and you can get this cream from crazy tracy that just automatically heals you to full health when you die so you ba it basically doubles your health so once you once you get past like the third dungeon it really it doesn't add a whole lot of difficulty to it Oh, 
Oh, you do need this. Maybe I haven't been up there yet. This is where you need it. Okay. Look at that. There's the key we need. All right, we're going to the seventh dungeon. See how far we can get in, in it tonight. Uh, I almost said tonight. <laughs> I'm so used to streaming at night. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> okay. okay. I also want to check out... I was stuck on the idea that you have to, like... ...fall into this hole, but I don't think you do. There we go. What does that do? There we go. How many do I have now? I hope I'm getting close to the end. I don't- I don't remember how I- how many I need for the sword. You work on Wall Street, you use that phrase all the time. What phrase is that? I feel like I should have the the sword by now. Mutual fund. Okay, okay. I gotcha. Excuse me, Rooster. God, those things are assholes. Thankfully, there is a fairy spring right before the dungeon. Is that a chest I haven't opened? This looks suspicious. No, nothing. So how in the world do I get um, into there or there? Okay, we're just gonna warp over to. Oh well, wait, wait, wait! Oh, there's a there's this chest over here that looks on. It is unopened. All right, we're gonna figure that out first. How are you guys doing this morning? Slash night, whatever it is. What's up, Exo Kid? All right, let's see if I can get to this chest. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that chest has a seashell in it. Oh, it might actually be down there. God, these things are the worst. Damn. I'm just gonna go ahead and use one of these because it doesn't matter how many I use. <sighs> nice to chill before having to do stuff. That's how I feel. Is this where the chest is? If it is, how did I just, how did I not go up here before? Oh, what? So I bombed that wall open and then never went in there? Uh, I'm dumb. Got 
burned on that one. Rude. Hmm. Pretty sure that does nothing for me with the red tunic, but whatever. No, no, no. I like Ghoul Gong better. I say, I, I vote that we change the word for Googling to Ghoul Gong. I wonder if I get, maybe if I get all of these in one go somehow, I'll get something good for it. So I, I really never went up there. All right, let me try something. Because... I'm like right above this pit. Kobe. Nothing? Oh, wait. No, that's, that's this one. <laughs> From your bedroom back to your office. Welcome back. All right, maybe if you go this way. Get out of here. Okay, I think I'm safe. Moving this one. Maybe this is impossible. No, it's not. I am so smart. I am so smart. SMRT. Morning, Mike Rayburn. Just woke up. Me too. I'm good. Hey, look at that. 100 rupees. Nice. I think, I feel like you did. Yeah. That you could, like, permanently lock yourself. That might have been a different cave. But I think there was... I think there was one cave. Or maybe it was, um... Link to the Past. Where, like, you get one chance and you have to get as many of them as you can. And you never get another chance again. I do... I do vaguely remember that, though. You know, I, I'm I'm kind of tempted to try to find more seashells before jumping into the dungeon because, like, it's it's the seventh dungeon. I feel like I should have the upgraded uh, sword by now. What time is it anyway? How am I enjoying this game? And did I play the original? Uh, I am loving it, and I adore the original. I have very fond memories of the original game, so I'm I'm totally biased. Like people have asked me if it's worth sixty bucks and whatever. I'm not the right person to ask. <laughs> okay. I'm tempted to go look for more seashells. 
37, but let's just go to the dungeon. That's more fun. You will skip your follow-up question. Hey, good morning, Chris G. Hope Park 2 is going well. Hope you are doing well. Hope the dog, the wife, and the kid all also doing well. You've done more for it this week than you have in six months. Nice. I'm good. Shoulder's a little sore from a flu shot, but other than that, can't complain. All right, Dungeon 7. I've got like 30 minutes left. Can we beat all of Dungeon 7 in 30 minutes? I'm going to guess no. <laughs> but it's, damn it, it's worth a shot. These guys are the are the are the Kaizo trap of Link's Awakening. Oh! I expected that I totally expected that to fall on the ledge where I can't grab it. I also want the boomerang. I totally forget where to get the boomerang. I feel like it's I think it's down on the beach. God, I hate those things. Oh, I hate those things so much. I might go cruise down to the beach. I can't go this way. Take a little trip down to the beach and see if we can't find the boomerang. Surprise, motherfucker! I guess the only option is to use that key. Did I just pick something up? I didn't see that. All right. Oh wait, what's? Oh, that's that's where I came from. That's where I came from. Okay, let's go. You'll indulge me. Take a little detour. You are not allowed to use Google at work? I'd be screwed if I couldn't use Google at work. Is it you? There, it's this guy. I want this pretty bad. It's annoying that you still have to trade an item for it. I've got all these item slots, man. Just let me have it. I think the only option is the shovel. Man. Yeah, I like the boomerang, but then like come across seashells or something that you can't get them. All right. I'm glad we found that fast. Let's go back. 
it is a good deal. The shovel is largely worthless. It's just the kind of thing that it's annoying when all of a sudden you need it, you know. Can you get another shovel? That's a good question, actually. You couldn't in the original. As far as I know. No, you couldn't, because like pretty sure the only reason you had to trade was because it was it would fill up your inventory was full. You didn't have an extra slot for the shovel. What if I could just go buy another shovel now? That would be fantastic. No, I didn't think so. It's an expensive rock. Yeah, yeah, you can trade it back, but <laughs> it's what we're trying to avoid. Alright, let's go back to the dungeon. Try to go warp speed and get all the way through this. Oh, wait. No, I should, you know. We're only down at a heart and a half, but... We should probably fill up just to be safe. It's like topping off the gas tank when you went, you know. 10 miles. Just because you, you're stopping at the gas station anyway. Slept for a good six hours. That's about what I get every night. Which I'm sure is not healthy. But I can sleep when I'm dead. Good guy, microwave brother, looking out for people on the internet. <laughs> Okay. I think my only option. Fuck! I got the I got the boomerang and I still didn't kill that guy. Hey. I think this is my only option. Yeah, I am up early. I wake up at five every morning. Except for weekends, but. Yep, this is the one. Okay. We're gonna knock down some pillars. I like it. Can you just push it? No, you can't. I like how Link has all these like tools and he's got he's like he carries bombs with him. He carries bombs. It's still the only tool apparently that can break these pillars. Is a metal ball. Just put a fucking bomb down, man. The hell is this thing made of? And if he's strong enough to chuck this giant, like, heavy ball at them, like, why can't he just, you know, bash into the thing with his shoulder or something? The logic here is kind of falling apart. You're just thinking that? Wrong way. Ooh, I might I might not be able to do this with it. Yeah. Oh, you can. Look at that. Got him at. So the hookshot seems a little nerfed in this game compared to the original. Which seems to make the boomerang like equally valuable. It's 
two down. Sure, let's do that. Why not? No. There we go. Oh, I can go up those stairs too. Okay. Compass? Probably a beak. Beak is my guess. Shit, should have gone with my first thought. <laughs> Don't want to go up or downstairs yet. Let's throw that. And then if anything, I want to check out the other room before that one. Column destroyed. Alright, calm down, Connor. Ah! Kirby! Alright. Dick. I can throw shit too. There we go. Oh wow, the boomerang actually damages it. The boomerang is better than the hookshot in this one. It's like they swapped places. Shit. Yeah. All right, let's try going this way. No fairy in those on hero mode, though. I don't think I can make that even with the Pegasus boots. What the hell's the point of this pit? What floor am I on? Alright, I'm on the first floor. <laughs> that little pitter patter. <laughs> so adorable. Okay. Oh, I could use the hookshot to get across there. Might need to use that later. I think you can use the hookshot on pots. I could be wrong. Now I kind of feel like I'm wrong. So you can use that spot to get on top of the... of the orange and blue blocks if they're raised up. Just smacking Kirby in the face. Hey, I wonder if that's a seashell. Okay, I don't think there's anything else I can do down here at the moment. No, I could be wrong. Go back up. I think this is a different staircase, though. No, it's not. Oh, it is. Okay, that took me back here. Hmm. I have to mess with the switches some more. So if I come up through there, I need the switch to be in this position. No way around it.
Oh, hey. I bet falling in that gap would be a good idea. Okay. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking a lot. <laughs> it's a puzzle. God damn it. Let's go up here. Nice. So I can get that. Oh, we already have... Okay. They really did, Desi. It's really great. And then I want to fall down here. Yep. Nope. Oh, wrong button. I wanted to see my shiny new shield. That's a key. Good deal. Now, I think I can get the seashell over there too. I think I can just go all the way around. I can't. Looks like a Lego game. I don't really see it. I don't really see Legos. Oh, opening that up is going to be really helpful. Let's do that. And then, let's open this. Okay, that opens up plenty of possibilities. <laughs> Shiny and cute. Okay, yeah, I, I see that resemblance. The noises he makes when he tries to push something are pretty cute. How in the... Oh, you probably you probably can just sneak by that if you come from up top. Okay. You're an ugly motherfucker, aren't you? Oh, I hate these guys. I absolutely hate these guys. Oh, never mind. These guys are easy. <laughs> God, the first one of those guys that you fight is just obnoxious. And you have, like, no health. Alright. Key acquired. Hang on. Oh, I want to fall down that hole. Let's go down here. Aww, this is so sad. Yeah, I figured Dusty would have something to say about that. Okay, it should be easy to get back here. Let's let's fall down the hole. Let's get a seashell. Oh, and we can get that chest too. Look at that. Good decisions. Feels good. Fucking beak 
bucks. <laughs> I'd rather I'd rather have like ten rupees. Okay. Let's go over here. The catharsis of knowing what's in the box. Yeah, that's true. Um, what was I using? Boomerang. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was stupid. Let me in. All right. Were the Kirby's and Goombas in the original? Yes. There's also a Yoshi reference in the form of a doll. That one. Oh, that was bad jump. Oh shit. Oh wait. Might not be all that bad. There is a chain chomp. Yeah. I think that's too. Oh, okay, sucks. All right. I think the staircase is like the best way back up. I lied. It's the same way I took before. The big fat liar, man. Oh, is Mario in it somewhere? Okay, I ha I think I have to go down. Can I just fall down here? Okay. Just gonna walk along here. Dungeon's kind of silly. Ah, damn it. <laughs> All right. Which staircase have we not tried? Let's try this one. Let's try getting up there, which I need the... I should be able to get into right now. Go away, Kirby. I think you need the blue. Yeah. All right, let's go up here. Good. This is right where I was when I fell down. Oh, you little dick. I think the mini boss is through that door right there. See if I'm right. might get us the last 
pillar. I don't think I want to toss this over there. If I toss it over there, it'll like reset. I don't think I can throw it that far. But you can get it right there. I don't know if you can bring it all the way around like that. Okay, let's do this for now. I need to throw it from the bottom of the room up and over that gap. Oh yeah, Taran was a Mario reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. I need to throw it from down here. I need to get the ball over there somehow. Which I can either throw it in a pit and reset it to up there. And try to bring it down here. I could throw it over there. Which I think does nothing for me. I don't think that makes it any easier. Maybe it does. Okay. Let's bring it back up. Because my worry is I'll throw it down. I'll just like throw it down a hole to reset it. Then it'll turn out. It's actually harder. Throw you over there. Poke Shadow over to the chest. Which probably has like 20 rupees. Oh, bombs. That chest is clearly just there to be a target for you to hook shot. <laughs> Pointless chest. Ow. You do nothing with that. Wait, how the hell do I get out of here now? I'm actually stuck. I mean, I can warp out of the dungeon at any time. Can I push my way out? Okay. Warp to the entrance. Not what I wanted to do. Okay, depending on where this wrong button, depending on where the switch is. Going up here might be my best bet. Oops. Which I think it is. So. This is my only option right here. That was sketchy. I like that you can see the ball on the map. Oh, shit. Oh, hang on. Actually. No, this is good. We're in a good place right now. <laughs> How's it going, Velstraza? Alright, we're gonna lift that up. We're gonna go down here. Go down here. We're gonna throw this down here. We're gonna fall down a hole. 
Let me go over here. Smack that guy with a boomerang. Alright, I got this now. I'm gonna go down here. Over here. Got the ball. Oh, piss off. Throw that up there. Hopefully we can get there without having to hit a switch. See ya. Ooh, I almost walked right past it. <laughs> okay, and that should get us... Up here. That one feels kind of like a reach, Desi. <laughs> Yo, Karna. Thank you very much for the raid. Good to see ya. <sighs> Hope Grand Pearl 2 is treating you well. Oh, man. Okay. So we knocked down tower so we're done with the ball so we want to go upstairs but I think I think I have to warp back to the entrance we keep playing but you gotta get ready for classes I know how that goes yeah I've got a hard out in the mornings too I gotta get ready for work pretty soon um shoot what was I what was I gonna look up Hang on, one sec. I want to check the weather. Okay. So let's warp back to the entrance. The Irie is a rough time, too. The Irie is... The Irie is a grind, but it'll, it'll make you better at cape, for sure. Okay. Now let's go up to third to the third floor. Let's hit the switch. And then let's go up to the third floor. Yeah, have a good day. Thank you for the raid. Shit. Yeah, give me that mask. Don't work too hard. You never have to worry about that for me. All right, let's beat this mini boss. Think you can take me? God, this sucks. I think you gotta kind of hope for a good pattern. Come on. You'll cheat it on that one. was that? Ugh. The analog stick fucked me there. 
I was holding it this direction, and then when I let go, it like snapped back and made Link face the other direction. Uh, all but one on that one. Some of these are kind of bullshit. Come on, dude. All right, this is the most annoying mini boss so far. Thank you. Ugh. All right. Well, that's a good place to call it for the day. Unfortunately, I can't finish the dungeon this morning, but we'll get there tomorrow. All right. I got to get to work. Sorry for anyone just coming in from Karna's raid. I also have to get going. So let's take this elsewhere, shall we?